Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. In another episode, we showed you a product that allows you to move around these kind of stationary tools. The problem is, especially in tall tools like this, you have a high center of gravity, meaning they can topple over easily. Well, we came up with a solution to that little problem. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Well, we love having these mobile bases that allow us to take stationary tools and move them around the shop. And, you know, there's a real temptation when you move them to grab the tool up on the upper side up here. But you shouldn't do that simply because the tool is top heavy and it can topple over pretty easily. So that means where the tool really needs to be moved from is from down here. But who wants to be on their hands and knees relocating this tool 10 feet away a little bit at a time? So the solution is to create a pull point right here with a handle. And all we did right here is put a U-bolt that's from your standard um, hardware store, modified it. Let me walk you through the process of how I did that. So the first thing we need to do is get additional nuts and washers and lock washers to affix this piece of hardware because after it was placed on there, you want it to grab both sides of the bracket and to become a part of the structural framework of the base. And so we added those on and then we need to shorten the tails of the bolt because if we left them as is, this loop would be sticking way too far out the front or the tails would be sticking too far out the back and would interfere with the inside of the base where we were securing the tool to the base. So those were sawed off. Then we drilled out the holes a little bit because they were just a little tight and it didn't allow an easy fit of the bracket. And once that was done, we we're able to insert the loop in through the front, uh, first putting a couple of nuts on each side to go on the outside, and then a, a lock washer and a nut on the back side of each and then tighten it all down. Now it was strong, it was centered, and it became a part of the structure of the base. Now you need to create a simple pull handle, and I did this using found materials around here. That's a little bit of stair handle rail um, that I had in my scrap bin, uh, a hook eye type of deal or hook with a lag bolt base, and I just drilled it into the end and hooked it in this way, which now allows me to grab down below here just right like this, and I can pull this around. Now you can build yours out of all sorts of different materials. It could be a piece of pipe with something screwed onto it, a welded hook. Uh, you could do something like a piece of one by four stock and, and screw on a handle like this in the end so it gets it easy to grab and pull around. It works very well without being super pretty. You can come up with your own idea of what to use, but the principle is the same. You need a hook like this that now allows you not to be kneeling down, but to stand up. And so when we press up these pedals here, I can just reach here, grab here, and use my other hand just to guide, and we can move this around really easy. So there we go. We've got a really nice way to move that around. Once it's in the position I want, then I'm gonna simply going to lower the two different pedals. It goes into its position and we're ready to go, safe and sound. That can get hung up somewhere else, and it can be used for other tool devices like this where you wanna have the same system on other stationary tools. If you found this video to be helpful, won't you like it, and better yet, subscribe to our channel. And when you do, ring the bell. That way you'll be notified approximately every Friday of other great video content on the home, the garden, the kitchen, maker skill, tools, and all sorts of things that allow you to just do it yourself. And while you're at it, check out our store at dirtfarmerj.com. Great merch, hats, shirts, coffee mugs, you'll love it. It's a great way to tell everybody else that you'd rather put your hands to it than do it yourself. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from dirtfarmerj.com.